Pia Biceps brings you TRS clips, so hit subscribe and make sure you hit that bell icon. Finally, I just want to ask you this one thing. A lot of people have this doubt about how to find their passion or how to, you know, get that first business idea. Again, what would your final piece of advice be for people like this? See, there are two kinds of ideas. One is what I called uh, the painkiller and the other is the itch creator. Okay. So painkiller is that there is a problem, there is a pain and you found a solution to it and okay. killed the pain. Okay. And there are a lot, if you look at India, a place like India, there are a million pains everywhere. There is, you know, khaddas on the road. I mean, you can find a million pains. And if you just take that one pain and find a solution to it hmm. and you are really passionate about it, maybe you have a relative, a friend or you have yourself gone through a pain, hmm. you can find a solution to that. Yeah. And the second thing is an itch creator. So itch creator is something which is completely new like Facebook or Twitter or Instagram. It was never there but today you can't live without it. Those ideas are slightly more difficult because you have to experiment, you have to do a lot more things. but. Uh, once again, in a market like India, there are a million opportunities to create itches. But I think at the core of it, you need to be passionate about the idea. If you are looking at these ideas clinically, listing it in an Excel sheet and just, you know, idea number one, nahi chala, do nahi chala, aisa nahi hota hai. it is about saying that this is one idea I'm passionate about and be what may be, I'm going to make it successful. Yeah. Those ideas work when you are not willing to ever give up that's when you succeed. If you are saying that, oh, this was idea number one, it didn't work, I'm going to idea number two, you will never succeed. Yeah. Put, stay at it. Stay at it. Wow. And do it with love. That's something I've Absolutely. Yeah. One of the earliest things you told me in life, I think I met you when we were at about 40,000 subs or 50,000 subs. And my parents were putting pressure on me to do an MBA. And you told me that, no, listen, like, you know, just stay put, stay in there. I feel like this whole MBA and this education system, it's kind of an outdated thing. I'm not saying, that everyone should just not do MBAs. But if you have that little itch to do something of your own, you should chase it. So today, instead of doing an MBA, invest that same money on yourself. Invest yeah. that same money on doing a small business. Invest yeah. that same money in traveling the world. Yeah. Invest that same money in creating your own YouTube channel, buy yeah. equipment. My point is that investing those you know, 10, 15, 20 lakhs, whatever it is, depending on what kind of MBA you are doing, Think of that as your own startup money and yeah. ask your parents that if they are going to be your first investors, yeah. that how can you get them to invest in an idea? Yeah. And I think that's really the future. The future is not about following the rat race. Mm. I think our parents did it. Yeah. And a lot of people in my generation followed the rat race. Mm. But if you are a teenager today, you don't have to be following the rat race. You have to be the tiger. Yeah. and follow your own path. Alright, so that was a beautiful interview. So, thank you so much for coming on the channel. This is our first video on the entrepreneurship series because I feel like people who have created their own businesses can kind of set a path for young India. And there's going to be a lot more entrepreneurs coming out of this country. They need someone to look up to. So, thank you for being our episode one. We are going to have an extended version of this conversation in our podcast called Hustle Science. We'll link it down below. For now, from Ranveer and Mr. Vishal Gundal, thank you, sir. And Thanks a lot. I'm sure people gained a lot from this. Thank you for coming on Be Your Biceps. Thank you.